government publicly set up bases in western Iraq in the last three years uh, to run attacks into Syria. That's on record. Now Al-Qaeda is taking Fallujah to Crit, and they're saying, oh, we may have to send back U.S. troops to fight Al-Qaeda. When Al-Qaeda was put there by NATO. Oh, and our troops will fight and die, and the contractors will fight and die. Real Al-Qaeda, they'll really be killing them. But they're funded and trained, and the door is opened by the criminals that run our government. That's what I'm explaining to everybody, ladies and gentlemen. There's the headline. Iraq gives Obama green light to commence kinetic support against Al-Qaeda. And how do you explain to the public that it's on record that those bases were set up three plus years ago by three known actual Al-Qaeda groups? One of them even calls himself on their black flag, the Bin Laden Brigade. And they set up bases in Turkey for him as well. And they launched chemical attacks to blame Assad and got caught. And now it's mainstream news that large parts of Iraq are falling to them because the Iraqi government didn't go along after the, quote, liberation, 10 plus years later, sort of doing things the way that they wanted to? Trying to set up a secular government again? No, no, you don't. Saudi Arabia runs the Middle East. They like Wahhabists. They're going to put Al-Qaeda in charge. And then people go, well, Alex, you don't want Iran taking over Iraq. See how crazy that is? Iran's taken over some Western areas with their infiltrators, but that's, why'd you get rid of Saddam so that would happen? See, the globalists create the problem, and then they sit there and go, well, we got to wink, wink, put Al-Qaeda in, because they're fighting Iran. What? What? And then the public doesn't even know the players? Shiite? Wahhabist? And then... I checked. It's in the news. These illegal aliens, when they get off these planes, don't even go through customs. They're just taken directly by bus and given sack lunches to bases because they're honored guests. I mean, the federal government through NPR, this is breaking today, runs a PR program to raise money to give the kids the plane tickets to come here. I, I, I mean, I, this is incredible. If you're an old person, an old lady, whatever, and you don't pay your property taxes, and you don't pay the income taxes, they will come, and if you hold up in your house, they will send a SWAT team in to shoot you. People, we got to be loving. You let the kids come here, pay for it. Oh, really? They'll kill Americans. I don't care what color you are. If you don't pay their fake taxes to pay for these illegals. But then they use our big heart and say, come on, let's advertise that everybody in the world can come here. Now they're going, legalize all the illegals and let them come in. Or more is just going to come illegally. What do you think legalizing 30 million illegal aliens is going to do, ladies and gentlemen? What do you think that's going to do when they say they can then bring their other family members here and they're an anchor to bring them in? It's going to accelerate people pouring in. And that's exactly what's happened since Obama start, stopped enforcing immigration law and started stopping the deporting of people. Now there's an even bigger flood. And it turns out the criminal, occupied, mercilessly wicked federal government is orchestrating and running the whole thing and not letting the media in. Well, our people went in. Staff Sergeant Joe Biggs and others yesterday. We have photos being added at Infowars.com from the video still shots. Updated Immigration shelter photos, feds treat legal aliens better than veterans. Headline should probably be reporters go in, reporters sneak in to illegal alien takeover command base. I mean, I've got the New York Times here admitting that they're deploying them to military bases from Massachusetts to Washington State. I mean, they are flying them everywhere, and they're staying. They're getting lawyers, and everybody else that's coming staying until this country goes completely bankrupt, which is the official Cloward and Piven plan. And they are going to be given driver's license. Most of them are 16 or older, and they're going to vote, and they're going to take our guns. And Obama is in Reuters and RT. We wrote about this days ago when he first said it, Mikhail Thalen did, and then RT and Reuters have picked it up. Obama cites Australia's gun confiscation program as an example for the U.S. Right here. 
and then we played the clip. I mean, th th this is this is here. This is happening. The time for denial is over, ladies and gentlemen. This is an illegitimate government. And if they want to call me a terrorist for saying that, fine. You people are violating every law up one side and down the other. I'm not funding Al-Qaeda. I'm not paying to bring illegal aliens here and house them at bases to then be fenced out to the local La Raza groups. I am not shipping narcotics in like this giant mule operation. That's definitely what it is. I mean, our country, folks, is being, it's called being overrun to use a military term. We are completely overrun, and it's all over Latin America. The planes are loading with the children. I put a tweet out today on Real Alex Jones that I think says it all. If you go to Real Alex Jones, scroll down for me, guys. Thank you. I said, George Washington launched our republic, and Obama's killing it. We have come full circle. Obama is a great man. He is the America slayer. By the way, Stalin was a great man, great at being evil, but he was great. Genghis Khan was great. Adolf Hitler was great. Great doesn't mean good. Just means they were big. They did it big. Obama is a great man. Because you can say whatever you want. He was the figurehead when you can say they brought this country down. I want to read the other little quote I came up with and put out. Intercourse in Mexico leads to the birth of a new American citizen. Intercourse in the United States leads to another abortion. The state is God. We're told our children, born in this country, are trash. Yuppies are told, and middle class are told, kill that baby. I mean, you think about what, uh, I mean, the globalists hate this country. I mean, we, we are being destroyed right now. And guess what? They get away with this, sky's the limit. I keep saying it. Notice each, each level gets 10 times worse, and then it's going to get 10 times worse and 10 times worse. And Obama, they're going to stage some mass shooting in a school, guaranteed, and they're going to announce, I'm sorry, I'm signing an executive order. Effective immediately, all semi-autos will be turned in within one month to your local Homeland Security Center. Those not complying will be arrested, and they're going to send armored vehicles out, folks, and the Civil War is going to explode like a fiery mushroom cloud. And then they're going to blame the people that don't turn their guns in, the 1776ers, for the Civil War. These criminals have started, and then they're going to use the illegal alien hordes fully as Mexico collapses in a global depression to just wash in by the tens of millions and they've openly announced they're going to start arming them as the new national security force that will be just as big and just as strong as our military, close quote. In fact, Obama said just again yesterday, these new children will be our dreamers for our military. And they're just taking them right in. You're the new military. I, I mean, I, this is so incredible. Obama, our future rests on the success of dream kids. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, if I went to Mexico with my wife and said, I'm here, she's nine months pregnant, she just broke her water, pay for it, they would literally laugh at you. Anyone else would in the world, not us, folks. We are the biggest chumps that will put up with anything. Thomas Jefferson said, the level of tyranny you will be under is the level you put up with. It, it, there is no limit. There is no limit when you get evil people in charge. Because when you don't restrain evil, the very worst evil will take over in a survival of the fittest social Darwin system. They will take over. You will get the most vicious. The worst king rat will rule. They will gut everything because it's what they do. They are exactly the kind of people we would want in this country. They work hard. They love their country. They want to be school teachers. They want to serve in the military. They want to run businesses, they have innovative ideas, they are the best that we have. And the president's frustration with the fact that he couldn't get Congress to act on the DREAM Act just got to the point where he said, I'm going to have to do what I can do. Now, it's not a solution. It's a stopgap measure. They're not on a path to citizenship. They can stay here. Every two years they have to reapply. So it's not the solution. But you cannot look into the hearts of these young people and say there's nothing we can do when we actually did have the power to do something.
And that's who's running the federal government right there. Valerie Jarrett. I'm going to go to Staff Sergeant Joe Biggs in a moment with a first-person report with video and still images for TV viewers. Everybody else can go to InfoWars.com and see the article, Immigration Shelter Photos, Feds Treat Legal Aliens Better Than Veterans. The, I mean, this should go so viral. Inside the red carpet treatment of the illegal invaders. Inside the purposeful implosion of the Republic. Before I go... Any further, I want to just remind you that this hour is brought to you by MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex. Super high quality, storable foods. If you don't have storable food and aren't self-sufficient at this point in the game, you're insane. MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex or 866-229-0927. Great customer service, non-GMO, MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex to find the specials. Also, lastly, we have free 29.